This is our laser tag turret. We call them PET for short, or in other words, our photon emitting turret. Um, it has it's user controlled uh, wirelessly through an altered joystick, and the camera sends a live video feed to the headset, which um, has a screen overlay for real time information updates. The LEDs around the gun pod will flash when fired, or it's a user selectable headlights, so you have different options there. And sounds are um, displayed whenever the turret is firing or if it gets hit. This is the uh, headset. It's a uh, commercial first person video goggle set that's wireless. We used the camera and transmitter that came with it. So, in order to turn the turret on, we have a magnetic lead switch. So we have a magnetic dongle that will fire it up. And then you plug it into the joystick to turn it on. So the, when the user is wearing that headset, they're seeing exactly what you're seeing here. <coughs> the movement forward, upward, to the left, and your right. We also have a potentiometer that controls the speed. So I can go faster, I can move it even slower. That's in addition to the analog control within the joystick itself. Yeah. The information that is displayed here is, is uh, uh, calculated here on the turret. We've got at the top is the compass heading. Uh, that gives the current compass heading of the turret. And then um, we've got the reticle. Now the reticle uh, is uh, lined up, the camera and the, the barrel here are lined up. There's an infrared LED inside the barrel. And uh, when you when he pulls the trigger, uh, if you go ahead and do that, um, it actually, it, it's firing an infrared pulse. And uh, you can see here on the remote, so you can see the light is flashing. Um, that's indicating that the uh, sensor on the remote is getting uh, hit by the infrared LED. So we've got some modified airsoft guns that have uh, the same mechanism inside, so uh, it's kind of like a big laser tag system. Uh, the two bars below here uh, are shields and health. So uh, there's a sensor on the back here, an infrared sensor. So every time I click, it's actually firing. So you can see the shields are dropping, and that, that regenerates every five seconds. Uh, but if you drop below, uh, it starts eating into the health, which doesn't regenerate. Down here you've got uh, battery life, uh, it's battery life on, on the turret, and then uh, there's also a thermal sensor inside the turret. Um, if the battery drops below uh, the critical value or the thermal sensor rises above uh, the critical temperature, a warning message will display on the screen and then the turret will shut down. So the shell was made out of fiberglass mold, we CNC the foam mold and inlaid it. It's held on with four magnets to steel inserts in the uh, water jetted aluminum base. So it's easy to take on and off, but, but holds on pretty securely. We uh, manufactured the under port, the undercarriage uh, out of sheet steel, also cut predominantly on the water jet. We 3D print uh, the gun pod and the camera mounts. The azimuth drive is a continuous rotation servo to a gear drive that's mounted to the base. The azimuth being left and right. Yeah. Gun pod is. Again, a continuous rotation servo with a additional potentiometer <coughs> mounted on the gun pod that gives, that gives us a gear reduction so that it moves slower. The camera pod's moved by a standard uh, RC micro server. The speaker is attached to the MSP430, and that also um, signals whenever the turret is hit or is firing. So we have a Axon microcontroller, which is basically it's an Arduino Mega in a different form factor. It controls its the main brains of the turret. We have a PIC controlling, uh, F88 controlling the lights you want to fire to do different patterns as well as the headlights. We have a uh, mic, uh, TI, Texas Instruments, MS, or MSP430 microcontroller. That controls the laser tag portion. It's what I've used in all the rest of the laser tag. And it communicates via XB to the joystick, which has an Arduino feel in it.